What's up guys, today we're checking out to see if there is any tangible difference on shooting with a full frame camera versus a crop sensor camera. For this comparison, I'm gonna use my Sony a7 III and a6400 cameras, both pair with the Sony 50mm f1.8 lens. The difference between full frame and crop sensors is the physical size. A full frame sensor has 36x24mm, while the crop has 24x16mm, so exactly 1.5 times smaller. So the Sony APS-C cameras have a 1.5 crop applied to a photo taken in the same conditions. For example, the same photo appears zoomed in 1.5 times as the 50mm becomes 75mm on a crop sensor. This can help you get closer to subjects in certain situations by using a lens with a smaller zoom range than on a full frame. There is a different factor to consider here and that is the background blur. Typically full frame tends to have more background blur, but not really as background blur changes if you take a photo with multiple focal lengths, even though the subject stays in the same place. To get the same effect on croppers with the full frame, you will need to divide not only the focal length to the 1.5 crop factor, but also the full frame aperture. For example, if you take a photo with a 35mm at f4, for the photo to look similar when shot with the crop sensor camera, you will need to use a lens of 24mm and an f2.7 aperture. Another difference between a full frame and a crop sensor is the low light performance. This is simple to explain as the bigger the sensor size, the more light it can catch. So in most cases, images from a crop sensor will be noisier. But is this noise really visible or noticeable enough in real life situations? Let's take a look at some samples taken with both of the cameras and you can judge by yourself. So in conclusion, when you are choosing your camera type, you need to plan carefully what lenses you would need, as generally there are more lenses available for the full frame cameras. A full frame camera does not offer a better background blur, but the available lens is good, as on the APS-C cameras you are limited by the crop factor. Consider also the low light performance and noise, which may be visible in some cases, but especially if you do nighttime photography. The right camera choice can only be made depending on your use case. I hope this video really makes it easier for you to decide if you need a full frame camera and by the way, my videos are shot on a crop sensor. So if you found this helpful, smash the like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you in the next one.